I used a qualitative grounded theory approach for this research project. Grounded theory is looking at each research project on an individual basis, rather than using a variable perspective. Corbin and Strauss, two leaders in the development of grounded theory, state that grounded theory consists of a set of steps in which the researchers carefully execute in order to generate a theory or to explain a phenomenon. Using a grounded theory approach, I am able to explain the reasons between student and faculty communication methods. I chose grounded theory because I believe that the best way to answer my questions was to ask my student subjects directly about their perceptions regarding communication with their instructors. I could have used a survey to answer my initial questions, but using a qualitative approach based on grounded theory allowed me to get beyond the initial thoughts to the real issue behind student responses. The participants in the study were very forthcoming with information and their own perceptions regarding connecting with faculty. Being a novice researcher, I would continue to prod after my first two questions for more information regarding their thoughts and ideas while letting the conversation flow. The first question I asked was, what kind of communication do you prefer when contacting faculty? I then asked, what kind of communication do you prefer when faculty contact you? Students unanimously chose email, but it turned out not to be as simple as just preferring email. I will explain this as I continue to talk about the data collected and the themes that were identified. My name is Kathy Inger. I'm Sherry's doctoral advisor. And I'm looking forward to the future of this research. The initial findings are very promising. The findings that are promising are those that link pilot data that Sherry has found back to existing communication theory. In a true sense, when you find existing theory that relates to theory that emerges from data or from findings in qualitative analysis, in order to build theory, sometimes it's very helpful in grounded theory then to see if the material that you have found relates to existing theory. And we're finding that her work is beginning to relate to some existing communication theory. That's very exciting for me because Sherry will be able to bring this research forward and determine if the data she's finding relates to theory that has been in use and that continue, can continue to be used. So the material that she's finding that's embedded in texting or in email or in the technologies that we use in the classroom for teaching, those new technologies can be embedded is something that isn't necessarily new, but is very highly academic and scholarly. I'm looking forward to that work. This initial work is a poster session as a result of a qualitative research methods class that Sherry took this last semester. It's a pilot study that is very promising and exciting work. In the future now, as Sherry continues to work on her dissertation, the next phase of her study will be to ask these questions of students through a course management system with uh, first-year communication students. She will be asking those students what methods of communication they prefer with their professors. And from that point on, she will be able to determine with a much larger population if the findings are similar or if her initial findings carry over into something that we have not discovered yet. I believe this is cutting edge research. I read a new issue on uh, connecting students to campuses through existing technology in the Chronicle. And as I was looking through some of those articles, there's some innovative material, but I think there's more innovation yet to come. And that new innovation can be related to existing work in teaching and learning and in existing communication theory. So while we go forward and while we use new technologies, those technologies don't stand
stand alone without existing scholarly work. So we're building on existing work, and that's very exciting. I'm looking forward to the work that Sherry is doing, and I hope that in the future you'll be able to see her continued work as she continues to publish and do research. Thank you.